hello. Look what I got. This box is filled with delicious food from HelloFresh. And by the way, this isn't sponsored, but if HelloFresh sees it, you know, hit a girl up because there was a really good deal going on and I really wanted to get my hands on it. So um, let's open it up because um, probably gonna get bad by the time I, if I leave it any longer. So yeah. So, we first, on top of the box, definitely recipes. So, you get to pick them. Basically, the first one is called saucy thyme steak, creamy dill chicken, and then finally, which I'm really excited about, Korean beef. It comes in this, like, foil-filled, insulated package. Each individual on its own. And of course, ice packs to keep them cold so they won't ruin. Or, oh shoot, there's more for the meats. So this is the chicken, steak, ground beef, which is I'm assuming for the Korean beef. Nice. Guys, I've been meal planning for such a long time. And this was a deal for like 30 bucks for three meals. And American portion is actually pretty big, so this probably is gonna last me like a week. Heck yeah. I really wanna do the Korean beef first, but I feel like that would be the best for last. So my thing is, I think I'm going to go for the steak. That'll be my first meal. You know what? I'm gonna show you guys me cooking this because I'm actually really excited for it. And the real reason for this video, um, last video I told you guys I wanted to do a Q&A and you guys have responded. So, right after the cooking, me and my cousin, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna respond to all the comments and questions that you guys have. And if you guys wanna skip the cooking, just fast forward to the Q&A, but I think you guys should watch me cook because I am very entertaining. Okay, in the oven, and now we wait. Now we cook the steak. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the completed product. I've already started eating. And people are, who are accompanying me. So what's today? Um, today, Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy today. Day. TGIF. TGIF. In Shondaland, there is no TGIF. Later that same evening. Okay, it is time for Q&A, but before I start the Q&A, my parents just came back from their trip and they got me this sick sweater from Jordan. I think there's a camel in the back, right? Yeah. Is it a horse? A horse. It's a horse. A horse. Yeah. It's the Hashimit? Hashim? Hashimit. Hashimit? It's like, uh, I don't know if you can read it, but the Hashimit Kingdom of Jordan. Guys, Jordan represent. Anyways, let us get to the Q&A. Now, okay, there was a large response from you guys last video, and so I asked and you answered, and we're gonna do a Q&A with my cousin, Donna. Hello. Would you like to introduce yourself? I'll start off by saying I'm Donna. 
That's it. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with the first question. Uh, one person asked four questions, um, and this name is oh grape juice. Grape juice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Grape juice asked four questions. So the first one is if you had to choose to do another job instead of parkour or karate, what would it be? I mean, I know as a kid you wanted to be a vet. Oh, that's true. If you want to be a vet as a kid, but I definitely, I mean, I would still be like an entrepreneur. So I, if not parkour, then I would definitely owning my own business. But at this point, I'm just pursuing the parkour journey. What about you? I mean, what what would you want to do? Other than what I'm doing like, now? I mean, yeah. Um, I lived in another life. I guess I would be an astronaut. Really? Yeah, I swear. Seriously? Voila. Oh my gosh. That's tight. Yeah. All right. The next question. Um, at your age, traditionally girls are married soon. So do you plan to get married and have kids or continue your career and live a single independent lifestyle? And why? These are good questions, yeah. Grape Juice. I guess they just want to know. Like, usually Middle Eastern girls are married at a young age. They are. The thing is, um, right now I just want to pursue uh, what I'm doing and I think I mean if God wills like clearly, you know things happen and we'll go with the flow But at the moment, I'm just going to pursue the athletic lifestyle and Entrepreneurship that I'm going for but as of now single independent lifestyle seems the way to go at, at the moment She's just gonna go with the flow basically. Oh if you could travel anywhere with anyone who would you go with and where? I'd go with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I'd probably go to Bali. Why Bali? I don't know, I've seen I've seen good things. Yeah. I like de thing. definitely like the Philippines. That has like a lot of islands and maybe Australia. I go a lot of places. Okay, Santorini. That's my final answer. Santorini. Santorini. What about you? That's a great question. Um, honestly, I would go with my dad. He's a like the best person to try. I'm Sado. My dad and Sada have had to pick two people. <laughs> um, my dad's a great person to travel with. He's like great at research. He looks like for the best way to get, you know, you know, to get around or however it is. So I would go with my dad around Africa. Oh, safari. Yeah. <gasps> I changed my answer. <laughs> no. um, favorite TV slash movie celebrity and your favorite TV slash movie show. My favorite celebrity, um, well, they're, they're, the one just got added into the mix. So the one was always Robert Downey Jr. And now it's Rami Malek. He just won an Oscar and I'm so proud of that guy, but- And he's really hands on. They're very good looking. Yeah. I mean, like Robert Downey Jr. is 50, but he looks amazing for his age. But Rami Malek is like, he's 30, 39. He's he, he doesn't look it though. No. He doesn't look it. I was surprised. But yeah. Those, and then favorite show? Friends. Friends. <laughs> Friends. No. But my favorite movie um, would be Tarzan. Kind of makes sense. Yeah. If you guys have known Sada through, a, you know, since day one, I guess, you guys would know she's a huge Tarzan fanatic. Let's not go down memory lane. I of, love memory. It's kind of embarrassing. It's a great lane. No. That's another video though. <laughs> <laughs> um, next question. What are some things you struggle with and how do you overcome them? It's a great question. I like that. Where to start? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Where to start? Um definitely the things that I struggle with is learning to take risks. Um, I've learned, I mean, it's been almost like a year and a half, but the first risk I took was quitting my job at Disneyland and taking on a risk to go with Red Bull and travel with them to Utah and compete in this little competition where I got to network and meet everybody. And I think that was like the first um, level out of my comfort zone. Which, Completely out of her comfort zone, actually. Which, yeah, which yeah, I actually really um, benefited me in the long run. Had I stayed in Disneyland in my comfort zone, not liking what I'm doing, I don't know where I'd be, but I probably would not be as happy as I am right now. So my struggle is always taking risks, reminding myself to step out of my comfort zone. 
What about you? What is something that you struggle with? Um, I guess uh, one thing I struggled with and had to overcome was, you know, think always considering what people are gonna think. Oh, if I do this, what's someone gonna think? I've Ooh, always been. That's a good one. Yeah, I really have struggled with that. Um, but honestly, after my 2019 resolution was to just do me and not think about what others are gonna think because at the end of the day you're never gonna succeed because you're so busy about thinking about what so-and-so is gonna say after you do this or take that path um, and I think I'm doing great guys she's gonna start something really amazing I'm not gonna announce it yet until she's ready to announce it but stay tuned stay tuned <laughs> for sure um, let's see Ooh, this is a long one. I know. Oh, so the, the previous question, sorry, the struggle one was from Hannah Fonette. Um, and then, have you ever visited Dearborn, Michigan? No, but my dad lived there. Did he go to school there? Yeah. Yeah. He lived there for a couple of years in, in high school, like in 1990. Something. Something. Yeah. But he had a great time from all the stories he shared. Dude, stories that will not be repeated. <laughs> <laughs> um, next, that was from Moose Squirrel Columbo. And the next question is from Shaney05. Do you really need to follow religion to bring light to your life and lives of others? Now, this question, um, in regards to my religion, I follow it because I grew up with it, I learned about it, and I definitely believe in it. But I do not preach my religion through my platform. If people have questions about it, I'll answer them gladly, but yeah. I don't preach it through my platform because I'm here to just say that I'm breaking a stereotype while wearing the hijab because in our community, in our culture, people wearing the hijab think that they can't do sports because they think they can't do sports because they're wearing the hijab, that's pretty yeah. much it. They can't be great Muslims and so follow their passion if, like let's say for instance, sort of parkour, being athletic, rock climbing, like within all of those things, but it's possible. It's always possible, it's definitely possible. And yeah, so bringing my religion to the lives of others, like I said, I'm not gonna portray my religion. If, and if someone is interested about it, then by all means, like ask away. But no, I, I'm following my religion because I want to. Yeah, like yeah. it's more like what you believe, like it keeps you going. Yeah, it's not about like needing to follow just to bring light to others, if that makes sense. Hope that answered uh, your question. In the Arab Islam community, this is by this is a question by Greenhouse Vase. In the Arab Islam community, do people judge you on how you dress and what you do, as it's considered tomboyish? And how do you f deal with it? And has your parents been supportive of your job? What a great question. That really is. It's just... I feel like a lot of um, Arab who are Muslim struggle with this as well. You know? Yeah. So this one, I mean, me personally, like, I've never been, I guess, the, like, on the side of always getting dressed up and putting on makeup. And I'm, like, I dress comfortably all the time. All the time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess in the Arab culture, not Islam, just the Arab culture, most girls are into like dressing up in in the makeup aspects right right yeah I, I mean I yeah most of us I'm not prefer to be all dolled up not all the time but more times more, than not yeah more yeah. times than not I mean I wasn't one of them so that's that question and then has your parents been supportive of your job in the beginning no absolutely not but when you want to do something and you're not breaking any like rules of boundaries. Yeah, like go for it. Like if it makes your parent, like don't make your parents angry. That's not what I'm going for. But what I'm going for is if you want to pursue something and you know it's right and you know it's going to benefit you and it's just like find a balance. Something that you like to do. Between yeah. Passion and letting your family see why you're so passionate about it. So then you do get the support. Because from what I have been accomplishing, like Ninja Warrior or the re a recent video that I did or Red Bull or things like that, like they, they're they seeing the results. They're seeing yeah. me putting work. It's not just like, I'm gonna displease you because I want to. No, I'm putting in the work. And they're seeing that and 
they're proud of it yeah, actually super. and whenever they see their friends or anything it's kind of a good feeling for them to actually talk about me like they're talking about their kid and they're proud of their kid and it's i think they also became more educated about what you do because i think a lot of um parents don't support their their children and what they want to do because they're uneducated about what it is that they're passionate about so i think that comes with it a lot you know they so. don't know why it's so important it's a different field right so like arabs in general are accustomed to either being like a lawyer or a doctor or an engineer. engineer i think there's a fourth one i anyways accountant okay <laughs> accountant but like the that's just what they grew up to be and that that's okay right that's okay but sometimes you know stepping out of something that's not normal um is a shock to everybody and which is fine but you get used to it and within this field it's this is a time to be like this is the social media world right now where yeah. everyone is always online always doing something always on the go this is a really good question yeah that thank is a you good question um oh, this question is what style of martial arts do you train in and do you compete i train wadoru karate and yeah i do compete i actually competed last week i uh, got second place Woo! yes i do still compete because my sensei makes me <laughs> Clearly the passion is there. It is there, absolutely. Uh, oh, well that question was from the the karate one, Kung Fu Bangla. And this one um, is from Melissa. What are your favorite perfumes? You know, recent, I like Victoria's Secret. I know, you, you've been liking Victoria's Secret for a while. I really do. I like Victoria's Secret and Calvin Klein. I think- Do you, uh, do you have a specific Calvin Klein one that you like? It's purple. The purple bottle. The purple bottle. No. This is the last question. This is from Harris Ahmed. What motivates you for your daily workout? That's a great question. I love this question. Um, what motivates me is following other fitness accounts, right? I don't like sitting down. I, I there's like, if I'm not doing anything, it, I just get all shaky and like, Agitated antsy. and antsy. I need, I need to go do something which is which is a habit that I've built um, Occasionally, but in the beginning what motivated me is definitely seeing other people getting out there working out putting in work um, Taking care of themselves taking care of their body making meal prep and all that following other accounts. Yeah 100% that that's what motivates me and I think everyone should try that because yeah. people are asking me all the time like how do you stay motivated and people uplift you you look at your friends Absolutely. you look at what they're doing and it's just like it comes around like it comes back to you and you just put in the work based on what you're looking yeah at. that positive energy exactly yeah. you're always surrounding yourself with positive energy actually there's never mind there's one more <laughs> <laughs> there's one more this is kind of follows up with the question before this is from Haja Rawag Hey girl. She also wants to know how I stay motivated for whatever goals I'm working on. She says that she struggles with staying motivated on things that have six months until I reap the rewards. That's a good question. I feel like everyone struggles with that. It's not just you. No, it's not. Cause yeah. I mean like I'm struggling with a simple backflip. <laughs> okay. Let's just start with that. So motivated. So I think for me, how I stay motivated is again, I look at other people, look at other accounts or, or study the proper way to get to a certain goal. So for example, I'm gonna talk about the example of a simple backflip, okay? I've been doing parkour for like four years now. I still can't do a standing backflip on ground, which sucks, it's killing me. And I've been training and training and training real hard to like get the tech right. And it's clearly taking me more than six months to do. But every time I go in there, I'm one step closer. Some people get it one the first time, some people it takes them years to get it. But everyone is on their own time. That's what you need to remember. Just because someone got it first, or just because someone has it already, doesn't mean you can't get there. But everyone's on their own time. Don't worry about everybody else. So even though if it's gonna take six months, a year, yeah, absolutely. Like, if the result is guaranteed, go for it. I think that's our issue, like as humans, we always want instant gratification. Yes. And unfortunately, life doesn't work that way as much as we want it to. Absolutely. Sometimes you just get it by luck, but most of the times you just got to work hard. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all the questions. Thank you guys so much for responding. This yes. is actually like 
the best. <laughs> Better than, like, I didn't even go on Instagram to ask you guys these questions. You guys responded all on YouTube, and I'm really excited about that. And there's definitely going to be more to come. Yes. So, I'm going to end this video right here. Uh, do you want to close us off? Like, subscribe, and share. And uh, comment below uh, what kind of videos you guys want me to do. And Great I'll chatting with you. Yeah, dude. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. That's it. That feels good. You feel good, right? Yeah.